Hey loves and welcome to part three of this extreme decluttering series I'm doing on my channel. And I just cannot hold off on this any longer. Today's the day I'm finally gonna tackle this closet. <laughs> so let's go. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Emotions keep coming, they're keeping me from thinking straight. It would be different. And we're kicking off this extreme declutter of, I guess, what's become my second closet or storage unit by decluttering and taking out every single item. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Kelly Hosbrook. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm a married mama to one boy and a dog mom to two. And I love making cleaning, declutter and organizing, and homemaking videos. So if you like those videos too, I'd love for you to subscribe and join one of the most amazing and supportive communities here on YouTube. And I mean it. You guys are just so awesome and spread so much love and encouragement in the comment section. I am truly just so grateful for you. And it's not too late if you're just joining in on part three of this decluttering series. Today is the day for a fresh start. So get up, declutter with me. It's going to feel so good when you're done, I promise you. So let me know as you're watching today what is on your list to declutter so that myself and this amazing community can cheer you on and give you some extra love and encouragement everything except my name we will still be fighting because i am still the same i want to me to be somebody else another me that doesn't need your help but if i'm honest i don't think we got it i try to change the things you never like try to make this better make this right but we're the same okay no more talking myself out of it no more going back because Every single item is pulled out and it's so crazy because all the stuff that was crammed into that little closet has completely taken over my loft area. So tons of stuff. We definitely have our work cut out for us today, but I just wanted to give you kind of a quick update, show you what I've done so far and also what my process is when I declutter too. Here is the cleared out closet, which I'm probably going to give it just a quick vacuum and a dust around the baseboards as well before I put everything back in here. We go out here is all of the stuff that was crammed into that closet. I still, I cannot believe it, but I have my laundry basket and a black trash bag and pink trash bag for donations and trash. And then this is like a filing cabinet, which needs a good declutter. I need to shred or toss out any papers that we don't need anymore. Um, and then over here is sentimental items. And also let me know, are we the only people that just have tons of bins of like random wires and cables and <laughs> electronics? Like, I don't even know what most of this stuff is, but I do know it needs a really good declutter. And I need to find just a better way to organize and store it as well. So um, over here is our like everyday decor or decor that I'm qu quite frankly just not using anymore. So that needs a good declutter as well. And I also have some storage bins in here too that I had just bought at some point and never used. So I'm going to figure out if I do actually need these. And if not, I'm just going to donate them. And then this is just like seasonal dishes and cutting boards. And I honestly don't know why they were in that closet, but I'm going to go through these, declutter them, and then put them back in the kitchen. And then this is all of my seasonal decor, at least some of it. Um, this is like some of my Christmas decor. Um, we have Easter, spring, Valentine's Day, and I think we have a 4th of July down there. So definitely need to give us a good declutter since a lot of the bins are overflowing so and then over here is like miscellaneous stuff or stuff that i just know needs to be tossed and then if we go in here this is all of our like winter clothes and some of like my nicer dresses so needs a good declutter i'm going to put the nicer dresses in the closet that already has my wedding dress in it and then on Amazon, I found these really nice under the bed storage bins. It comes with two. I thought this would be a really great way to save some space and we can just put them under the bed so that they're not taking up too much space in our closet. So definitely have our work cut out for us, but we're just gonna take this decluttering process just one pile at a time. And before we know it, we're gonna have this totally cleared out, which I am so ready for. So let's go. If I could 
And if you are decluttering with me today, I always find getting started easier when you start with a pile or space in your home that you know will be easiest for you to declutter. So for me, it was these two bins filled with home decor I don't use anymore. And I guess mismatched seasonal decor that didn't make it back into its proper bins. So I know I had a ton to toss when it came to my decorations, but Honestly, I did not know I was going to fill these black bags so quickly. It was so crazy. But the more that I toss, the freer, the lighter, and the happier I feel. And the more that I just want to throw overboard. Because the more action that we take, the more that we want to take action. The more that we toss, the more that we want to toss. And that simple question of, does this thing really add value to my life becomes so much clearer. And honestly, none of the stuff that I pulled out was adding any value to my life by being buried and shut away in a cluttered closet. So we're going through every item piece by piece, asking if it sparks joy. And if it does, then we'll keep it. If it doesn't, I like to donate things because that always makes me feel really good or recycle or trash it if it can't be donated or recycled and just get this space totally totally cleared out because there is so much connection between physical clutter and that mental clutter but definitely don't put pressure on yourself to start with an entire walk-in closet even if you just purge one physical item in your home a day or do one drawer a week you're still going to feel such a difference not only with your home but with yourself too so do not feel bad if you cannot get all this done at once i just wanted to do it to give you some extra motivation for when you have a big mess to clean up too One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you, yeah Got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again Next, moving on to the kitchen items that somehow ended up in the closet. I was actually pretty ruthless with these because I had just decluttered my entire kitchen in part two and I did not want to put more clutter back in. So whatever I kept, I really had to justify it. So I tossed some extra spice bottles that I know I'll never fill and some Christmas serving trays just because I already had a few serving trays I love. So keeping extra serving trays just because they have little cranberries on it seemed a little silly. And I made sure every item I kept had a place to go in my kitchen to prevent a recluttered kitchen. Now moving on to my closet worth of winter clothes and dresses, I'm separating them into piles, which we had dresses and sweaters and coats and also some clothing that had some sentimental value attached to them. And going through each pile piece by piece, discarding anything that I don't love or looks well worn or has a stain on it. And also my son Jaden has been growing a lot this year. So he's outgrown most of his winter clothes that he could wear last year. And also I was so excited for this part because I 
I've always struggled with storing my seasonal clothes in a way that keeps them safe, but also saves space in my closets. So I was excited to get everything decluttered so I could try out the new storage bins for under the bed. And spoiler alert, I absolutely love them. So I'll definitely leave the link for those in the description box too. And the last pile of clothing I wanted to tackle are the clothing items that have some sentimental value attached to them, which most of the pieces in this pile are items that for me are a link to the memory of my dad who passed away in 2021. And I've struggled with feelings of guilt tossing anything that reminded me of him because I feel like I'm throwing pieces of him away. There are some non-negotiables like a leather jacket I wore when we go on motorcycle rides and a marching band jacket because we are both musicians but there was also this beautiful white vest that I got from him and I knew I would never wear it. And when I ask myself if it brings value to my life, the simple answer is no, it doesn't. All it's doing is sitting locked away in my closet. And the truth is by letting go, I could add value to other people's lives by donating it to charity. And though it's just one item, it's truly such a big deal for me. So if you are also grieving the loss of a loved one and finding it really hard to let those items go, I totally understand that. But do not put pressure on yourself to go through those items if you're just not ready or to let go of something that you're just not ready to part with. We all grieve differently, so be kind to yourself when decluttering. And as always, if you have a prayer request, whether you're grieving the loss of a loved one or battling an illness or just having a really hard time right now, please leave them in the comments so that myself and this amazing community can pray for you because you are not alone. And just thank you so much for being here with me today. The next section I'm tackling is my sentimental items, which I had three separate piles for, but in this box, I had old birthday cards and yearbooks and some of Jaden's old baby books and pictures of my mom and dad. And I even found a poster advertisement for senior photos that my mom kept because they put my picture on it. <laughs> my mom was so proud of that, but this whole box just needed a good declutter and put away with the rest of my photos and sentimental items. And onto my second pile of sentimental items are what seems like all the papers that Jaden accumulated from his now six years of schooling. And I kept everything from report cards to conference packets to graded papers. And please let me know in the comments that I'm not alone on this because it was a lot. But I decided to only keep some of his awards and the things he made for me for Mother's Day and a couple about me posters I wanted to hang on to. The rest was just pointless paper clutter that needed to go. And finally, my third box of sentimental items had some more old birthday cards. <laughs> Seriously don't know what it is with me and birthday cards. Also, one of Jaden's newborn socks, some clippings from his first haircut, and a bag of rocks. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Because in his early elementary years at recess, he'd search the entire playground for the perfect rock to bring home to me. And yes, I kept them all. And though it may seem silly to hold on to, these items truly bring a smile to my face and just so much joy. And that's what this process is all about, is eliminating anything that's not essential or brings value and if it makes you happy and smile then it brings value to you so don't feel guilty if you have some silly things that you're holding on to too
And finally, we are on our last category to declutter and arguably the most overwhelming is all of our cables and wires. And we're talking power cables to computers and laptops we don't have anymore, old or broken phone chargers, TV cables, broken controllers. And honestly, the reason this pile even started in the first place is because we didn't have a great way to organize all of our gaming systems and the cords that came with them. And once the pile started, it just kept growing from there. So my goal is to get all of the wires and controllers organized into three labeled bins, either Nintendo, PlayStation, or Xbox. And just an FYI, most of the cables will tell you what system it's for. And I cannot tell you how incredible it feels to finally go through and declutter all of these wires and have them organized. So if you have a pile of electronics and cables too, let's get up and let's tackle them together. Get ready and da 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 da. <laughs> I mean, wow, what a transformation this is. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, where did all of my stuff go? But honestly, everything that was in here was just needing to be donated or tossed. And we don't have any more random bins of wires that I don't know what to do with. Everything is organized and labeled up here had a major declutter of all of my seasonal decor. I could finally see the ground. This filing cabinet, I did declutter it, but just for the sake of not having my personal information on the internet. Um, but everything is totally decluttered and organized into its little filing forms. But yeah, I mean, I am just so incredibly happy with this. This is such an incredible mood booster and it honestly just feels so amazing to have this closet designated for something like for our wires and for some decor and also our personal information instead of just having this closet be more of a dumping ground for things that I just don't know what to do with so and then here is all of my donations and trash which honestly I am quite speechless this is just from the closet declutter so we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff taken downstairs and I'm going to combine it with all the stuff that I decluttered from my kitchen declutter in part two of this series and it's just going to feel so great to get all this stuff loaded up in my car get it taken to donation store and to have all this clutter finally off of my shoulders so let's go
And here's the back of the car. <laughs> and here's the front of the car. <laughs> Our second car load of this decluttering series. <laughs> Feels so good. Now sweeping up all the decor debris on the ground. That is the end of part three of this entire home decluttering series. Thank you so much for decluttering with me. I truly feel so grateful that you choose to spend a part of your day with me. And let me know in the comments any video requests because I truly love hearing from you and always wanna know what you wanna see next. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me along this journey. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye loves.